The AutoPan plugin in Cubase is designed to help us maximize the stereo image in our track. And that's the difference between the left side and the right side and everything in between. It's also designed to allow us to be really creative with this space. And I'm gonna show you some pretty cool things about the AutoPan tool in this video. First of all, a great place to start in any plugin is with the presets. And there's some fantastic presets inside the AutoPan, so make sure you take some time to check them out. Now you can see the AutoPan is looping backwards and forwards up in that graphical scene up there at the top. And there's a number of different points which can obviously be arranged in different shapes. So we've got the left and the right side and we can easily allocate these different dots or shapes into various positions between the left and right. We can ask the AutoPan plugin to select random shapes for us just by clicking on this button here. And as you continue to click on it, it will offer different random suggestions. And these suggestions aren't based on any specific type of sound. We can also move through different types of curves just by using these buttons here. Take some time to have a listen to the different sounds each of these shapes represents. We can turn on the sync button to sync the auto panner to our project, which means it'll be locked in with the tempo. When we turn it off, we can just move this little dial here to speed it up and of course to slow it right down again. If you've got the auto panner over a number of different tracks, you might want to change the phase point or offset it. So as you move this up and down, you're basically changing the start point of the auto pan operation. It's a simple but effective tool to help you ensure you don't have any weird phasey issues going on in your music production. For some really cool music production techniques that are in time with our project, turn the sync point on and open the drop down menu and then select a quantize setting, which is basically what it is. The further down this menu you go, the faster the auto pan is going to move in between the left and the right. So you can get some quite fast settings that are synced into the project, which is great for say, I guess, electronic music productions. Um, the higher you go, the slower it's going to move between the left and the right side. And this gives us the opportunity to get some really nice panoramic type, I guess, movement between the left and the right hand side. Now, the factor button is going to multiply whatever that quantize setting we have over in that next drop down menu. So we can get it to go as slow or as fast as we want. It's worth pointing out that the sync button actually has to be activated for the factor settings to come into play. Next up, we've got the link button. The link button's really cool. If we turn this on, then the left and the right channel are simultaneously linked, which is going to give us a modulated chopping sound rather than an auto pan. So it's almost like you're getting two effects in one. And I guess the advantage is you've got all the parameters of the auto pan. Now when link mode is on, the width button determines the depth of the modulation. And lastly, the smooth parameter will allow us to smooth out the transitions between the individual steps of the panorama curve. And that's that curve that's represented up there in the graphic interface. The very first thing I said to do was to start with the presets. And one of the most creative things to be able to do in the auto panner is move the points in the panorama section. So basically you're creating your own curves and your own stereo width or panorama. So it's a lot of fun and you can come up with some pretty interesting and crazy creative effects that you can use over a whole range of different types of tracks in your music production. It's just a matter of taking some time and moving the points around and finding something that you like. My final piece of advice is absolutely ridiculous. Try using it over the top of the master bus track. And when I say use it, I don't mean use it in an intense manner. I just mean just have it lightly there. So link the channel so it's more of a modulation chopping effect rather than a panning effect. And you'll start to actually notice that the track's breathing around the different beats depending on the quantize setting you have. It's a really cool way of bringing your project just that little bit further out into the interesting zone. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. Please give us a thumbs up if you've learned something. Subscribe to the YouTube Cubase channel and leave us comments to let us know how you're being creative with the auto panner. 
I'll catch you in another video. In the middle of a bad dream You woke